Hello friends, I am Durgesh Sahani and we are creating tutorial of, for object oriented programming concepts in PHP. This is the fifth video tutorial in, in which we are going to learn types of inheritance. So as previously we have seen that uh, inheritance means when uh, object of another class can access the pro properties of other class this concept is called inheritance. So we have already seen single type of inheritance just because base class is inheriting into the derived class and with the help of this object we can access the properties so there is only one base class uh, only one class base class and only one derived class so this concept is called uh, single inheritance so let's see uh, some basics uh, examples for the same uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to delete these things from here and this one as well i'm going to give it name like uh, employee suppose we have this employee and here I will create one other class called department okay so employee uh, we have class employee and here we are going to create some uh, uh, variable protected type of variable like dollar uh, f name which will hold the first name then protected dollar l name then we have some functions function public function function uh, first set name and oh sorry and another function is public function get full name like this we have two functions here set name what will do uh, it will accept uh, two parameter first name comma last name and uh, here what we will do uh, dollar this will assign uh, first name is equal to dollar f name and last name will assign to l name so here we have created a set name function to assigning the values uh, to these two variables and then uh, return full name what we will do full name will show like this dot dollar f name uh, not like this dollar this f name uh, what we will do we will give little space and then dollar this L name okay so we have created one class of employee where we are showing this information and what we will do we will do one uh, we'll create a department here two more variable uh, same protected or private you can say private uh, department number dollar department number then private dollar uh, department name so these two variables we have here and <coughs> what we will do see we are extending this class employee to this department so what we will do we will create two more function 
for department number and getting and setting so we can use constructor as well uh, but in the next tutorial we will see constructor in detail in inheritance so or after finishing all type of uh, inheritance we will see the concept how to pass values to the uh, to parent class constructor okay so we'll see that in the after the completion of this video for inheritance so let's do create two more functions i'm just copying it here and paste it here and get the name uh, set department and get department okay so we'll return here a uh, department number department number like this number and here br department name like this so set department so here also we'll return d number and d name and here what we'll do we'll assign d name to department name here also uh, d number department number like this so basically what I am trying to make an example of uh, to understand the uh, uh, basic need of inheritance suppose there is one employee uh, if I am not using inheritance so all the time what we have to do we have to create a employee and with all information then again department suppose this is the department number for uh, one employee have a, um, can have multiple departments right so all the time we have to create a separate separate information but if you are using inheritance so basic information like first name last name is required for all the department employees right so we have created uh, employee class and which will hold the information of employee uh, basic information like you can I have used only first name and last name you can use email phone number mobile number pri all the primary information of employee you can uh, store in the employee class and what additional informations uh, department suppose I have used here department so department number and department name we can store in the uh, next class and we are using the previous class we are inheriting the previous class into here so all the features of base class will get here right so all the information we have here so if we want to add one more information in department so we can directly come here and add this here only no need to make any changes into the employee class right so let's see example so all we are done with the with our uh, implementation now what we'll do we'll create an object of this department class and we easily we can access these values so let's see how so what i'm doing i'm creating an object obj of department is equal to new keyword and uh, dept department class name then dollar obj department and we, we can call sorry set name set name function we will call and we will set the information and yeah, set name function except two parameters so I am just passing here first name Durgesh and last name Sahani okay see now what we have to do again dollar uh, obj set department so here I'm passing department number as suppose 5 and department name is IT now just we have to call these values to show on the browser so again I'm doing obj and get full name and dollar 
ओ बी जे गेट डिपार्टमेंट सी वी आर डन सो इट विल सेट द वैल्यूज फॉर फर्स्ट नेम एंड लास्ट नेम एंड सो वी आर क्रिएटिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ ओनली ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट्स लेट्स गो हियर एंड जस्ट रिफ्रेश दिस फाइल फुल नेम यू आर गेटिंग ओके लेट मी डू सम formatting here yeah okay so it will look little nicely see full name is durgesh sahani department number and department name so what we can do here department name and we can do like this फुल नेम दुर्गेश सानी डिपार्टमेंट नंबर एंड डिपार्टमेंट नेम सो वेन एवर सपोज देर इज वन एनी न्यू क्लास इज कमिंग विथ सम अदर इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इम्प्लॉय लाइक सैलरी एंड ऑल थिंग्स सो यू कैन जस्ट क्रिएट अ न्यू क्लास एंड ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन एट द रिकॉर्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन सैलरी एंड ऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन टू देयर एंड जस्ट एक्सटेंड दिस इम्प्लॉय क्लास देयर सो यू विल गेट द फर्स्ट नेम एंड लास्ट नेम फ्रॉम देयर and the additional salary information from that class so we'll see that example in the next video tutorial for multi level inheritance or uh, for an another in, uh, type of inheritance we'll see as multiple inheritance is now supported by php so in the next video tutorial we will see the next example of uh, next example of next inheritance types so i hope you understand this uh, concept of sing inheritance and we have seen here a very simple example of simple a simple inheritance or single inheritance you can say so thank you very much guys for watching my tutorials if you like uh, if you like my videos so please uh, subscribe my channel